Here we, here we, and welcome to another one, uh, another Dyson sp spare swear program thingy. Uh, we're doing a guide again. It's our third episode on the guide. Oh my gosh! <laughs> All right. That being said, let's just jump into the usual stuff, shall we? Open up the technology. I have done some research. Well, not much research, but we have. So I have done the drive engine. You can read more, and you will figure out that on your own. It's not that special, and you will. N it's not that useful either. <laughs> you. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna research the basic assembly, and I'm gonna make the assembly guide for you all. So what I've done. I have set up all this factory stuff. It took me quite a while, actually. I've set up a glass production area because we ran out of space on this side where we have stone coming in. Um, so we have two belts of iron, two belts of stone because there's two products. So currently we're making all of this that we can make. We need to assemble circuits. We need to assemble... Uh, gears and we need to make magnetic coils so we have coils or magnets right there so that's awesome we just need to expand it and uh, build it into coils <laughs> <laughs> all right so yeah so we're gonna u use this as well uh, to assemble all of this all of it yes you are entirely right we're gonna assemble all of it so, that being said, we need 10 of those, so 10 of those and 10 gears, let's just get that going right away. Okay, so we're gonna research, and uh, I'm gonna lay things up, uh, I'm gonna build a buttload of uh, stuff, uh, so in the building menu the assembly machine will appear, uh, and we're gonna build it. We're gonna. I'm. I'm gonna build it all. I'll be right back with a tiny layout for the production. We might put the production all the way on top of this place. Yeah, we got coal there. Yeah, we might. Yes, yes. Let's let's put it in this area. Um. I like to mark out every resource the re resource I get by with um miners or printers uh because I I I just like to have it organized and it kind of indicates how many printers that I need and how many is mining the entire vein of uh of the resource so we got four going on there uh, we we got four going on there, and the bigger one we got four, uh, for now four in that one. Marked out the stone one slightly, not entirely. Yeah, well, I do got it entirely. So uh, that's something I like to do. Uh, it just enables me to do stuff better. Uh, okay, so as assembly machines. Uh, I don't think we got assembly machine. If we get one upon, so we need. Yeah, exactly. We need circuits, gears and iron to make that happen so let's make 10 of them actually let's make wow let's let's make all of it there we go okay cool so i will uh make the layout i will get back to you and i, I will showcase the assembly and we're gonna make a proper proper early going mall all right <laughs> here we here we <laughs> okay I've, I've done some some work, uh, so I basically have all of our previous transport transport stuff into our new production thingies. So currently we need three uh, to keep up with research as far as I know. So what we have done, just to explain it, is we this only needs uh, copper and an iron, right? So I'm just taking the iron into another belt that will then provide iron and then this one that 
is getting delivered straight by this single one. Uh, we can add more in the future if we want. We can just put off the storage, move the storage down the line. Um, so I have stacked the storage and I have completely disabled the bottom storage because I just want the elevation. Um, so that's what I have done with the storage. Uh, I don't... Yeah. Uh, I hope... Uh, I hope it's kind of doable to, to understand why I've done that. It's just for practical reasons, uh, which allows me to run belts on top of those three existing belts. I was going to run them with like a, a one space elevation, so there's actually space for a belt running in, in, in between. Uh, those two, uh, or between the storages, uh, which I can uh, do if I want to at some point, which I might, I don't know, we'll see, I might be doing it, maybe with one of those two, stone and glass and stuff. So then I have just produced, uh, yeah, got those, I have three lanes, that is not produced, well, it's, n it's not outputting fast enough, but that's fine, hopefully we can sort that out later on with some faster ins uh, sorters. Um, at the moment, at least that's how it is. Uh, no biggie. Yeah, cool. <laughs> I could have taken this belt and just, p uh, yeah, had it on the other side. And then maybe I could have just extended it up there, taking input right there, and then just output straight there. But I, I think this way is, is better. Uh, just for practical reasons, um, not speed reasons, just for aesthetics and stuff like that. So that's essentially uh, assembly. That's automated assembly for you all. Now you know how to do that. Uh, I will be going through uh, literally the same process on... Uh, so what you need in terms of components, you need to automate circuit boards and magnetic coils first. Then third is gear. So I will be uh, making an uh, auto assembly for all of those. And then I'm gonna make assembly for all the buildings just in the same way that we, we have done. Sounds cool? Okay. <laughs> uh, that's what I will what I'm gonna be working towards now, at least. Um, I hope you guys uh, are staying safe and all that. And I will we'll catch you in our next guide, which will be... Will it be research? I think it will be research. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's uh, It should be research. Uh, we sh yeah. 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 Yeah, we need definitely research. I really want the universe exploration and then the u universe exploration to um, to uh, just see all the veins instead of hovering over them. Uh, okay, I will leave you guys for that one. Thank you guys so much for hanging by, stopping by, watching this nice guide that I'm making for you. <laughs> I really hope uh, it help uh, help you guys understand the basics or if anything is kind of like you don't know uh, yeah cool I will leave you guys with that one I hope you guys have enjoyed remember like subscribe and probably leave a comment and stuff um, I find this game really entertaining and I'm probably never gonna stop playing it either um, thank you guys so much for for um, stopping by and stuff. Yeah, I, I will catch you in our next guide. So stay tuned for your next step in um, Dyson swear spare program. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I I hope I hope you guys are having a good one. <laughs> All right. 
I'll see you guys. Peace out, guys.